we're on. Okay, so we are going to do our smudging first for the full moon smudging, just clearing our energy. Um, just in general, just with uh, the full moon energy can be a bit heavy sometimes. It can be a bit chaotic. It can feel, you can feel a little bit more emotional, a little bit more crazy. I mean, you notice that in the world alone during this week, even um, I worked in a nursing home for four years, you notice that medical places, things like that. Anytime anybody has a weakness, I guess, or I don't know, it's just like I have a tumor in my brain or I have a brain injury. So anytime someone has something like that going on in their brain, the full moon will affect them more. So it will make them more chaotic. It will make them feel like even worse during the full moon. And the best thing you can do is smooth it out smudging, calming energy, the calmer we are with people, the calmer they become, and just be mindful of that during this week. So if you're working with the public, which you do, especially in the medical field, and you're, she's truck driver, Miss Truck Driver here, out there dealing with that type of energy, dealing with a lot of masculine energy out in that world, um, the best thing you can do is get yourself balanced. That way you can help them be balanced because we can't control them, but we can help soothe their energy just by us being soothed. So it's important this week to be mindful of that and be aware that people will be a bit more chaotic. Things will be more heightened and emotionally. So if you're calm, you will help the situation calm down. All right, so I'm just going to give this to you and give it to each person and just take it all around you, just like Jamie's doing, and just take in the soothing energy of the smudging. And in this mix, we've got Palo Santo, we've got White Sage, we've got Dragon's Blood, we've got Lavender and Sweetgrass. So it's a mix of different herbs together. We have to. Um, Alyssa, my daughter-in-law, um, came over yesterday and she was telling, because we all went to um, Mackinac together for the weekend, that last weekend that we went, and she came back, she says, um, I think I brought something back because crazy things have been happening. I'm like, yeah, I think I did too, but I've been too lazy to smudge. <laughs> and uh, she's like, uh, yeah. So I had to give her, uh, if you use black sage instead of white sage, it gives it more of an intense effect and it's a stronger uh, smudging effect. So especially if you're dealing with something kind of dodgy. And so I gave her some, cause I just got some in. So I gave her some uh, black sage and I'm like, just go around and re-smudge and get rid of what's there because something's going on. So we, I'm like, yeah, I need to do that too. I guess I'm just so used to it that, that I just get lazy sometimes. And my husband thinks it's fun. He loves it when things are like move in and chaos. I'm like, you're not the one that has to get rid of it. I do. He's like, don't smudge that. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm like, no. <laughs> That's my husband for you. All right. So just sit like you are. You might want to... Um, we're gonna, are gonna be making some movements, so make yourself comfortable. You can get off the pillows or on the pillows and move the drums out of the way because we're gonna use the drums for the meditation. So, um, so just let's take a deep breath in. Take it out. Another one. And then on your third breath, bring your hands like this, and we're gonna just bring up some energy and then as you come up, turn your hands up and do a light stretch. Just go as far as you can. And then on your third breath, when you get to your third breath, just come to one side. Just do a light stretch. Feel it on your side. And then when you get to your third breath, we're going to go to the other side. Just take your time. It's all about gentleness, honoring our bodies during this full moon. So as you notice, in this position, we are the crescent full moon, or crescent full moon, the crescent moon. And 
now we're going to come and put your hands like this. This is the full moon. We are now at the full moon. Miss Luna, the goddess, breathe that in. And then open your hands and we're going to invite the full moon's energy into us. And instead of it coming in as chaos, we're going to invite it in as gentleness. Gentleness coming into us this full moon. And you can do this practice every day during the full moon. Okay, now bring your hands to your knees. And this we're going to do cat and cow sitting. So we're going to go out, take a breath, and then come, become the cat. And then breathe again, and come out as the cow. And then come in as the cat. Let's just do that two more times. Out as the cow. Come in as the cat. And then one more. And then go back in as the cat. And then come to neutral. And now we're going to do some twisting. Twisting is so great for releasing toxins. So we're just going to twist to each side and just twist as much as you can. Don't overexert yourself and just take your three deep breaths and then move to the next side. Just breathe gently. Now we're going to do some stretching. So we're going to just put out one leg. Doesn't matter which leg. So you might need to move your pillows or you can stay on your pillows. Whatever works for you. And we just got, I'm just going to move a little bit so they can see the camera. So we just got our leg out here and we're going to again be the crescent moon. So we're just going to bring your hand up gently, just like as the moon is rising crescent moon and then go over and just go as far as you can. Don't overexert yourself and take your three deep breaths. When you get to your third breath, we're just going to switch to the other side. And then gently switch to the other side. Again, bring your hand up gently. We are the crescent moon. Over. And this time, when you get to your third breath, open up your legs completely. So both legs are going to be out. So you just come back gently and just open up your other leg. And we're going to be the full moon. So we're going to bring our arms up gently as the full moon and breathe. And just take your three breaths here. And then when you get to your third breath, go forward as far as you can. Don't overexert yourself. And then we're going to go forward. And just go as far as you can. You can your hands down if that's comfortable, whatever works for you, and take your three breaths. And then when you get to your third breath, we're going to go into butterfly. And just put your feet together. And you don't need to have your feet like up close to you for this. Let's bring them out a little bit. Yep, and just do your wings, butterflies, butterflies. I think we are all past our cocoon stage. We are now butterflies. And just take a breath. Okay, now we're going 
now we're going to go forward and go as far as you can. This is great on your hips. Don't overexert yourself. If there's any type of pain at all, just move back a little bit. some more twisting so this is kind of what it's going to look like and just do the best you can if this is all you can get that's fine i'm going to go further into the position but you don't have to so just whatever you can do so just there yep and cross and try to get a good stretch here where you feel it on your hips deep breath and on your third breath we're just going to switch to the other side side once you get to your third breath. So you're giving yourself a little bit of a hug, and a good stretch. And on the third breath, I'm going to face this way just so they can see me, but we're going to put our feet out all the way. So we should get to your third breath. And then again, we're going to be the full moon. So bring up that full moon. And just take three breaths right here. We are the full moon, harnessing the full moon's energy. And when you get to your third breath, bend forward gently and go as far as your body will allow. And if you want to go all the way down, put your hands down or grab your feet, whatever you're comfortable doing. Just breathe gently. And this time, once you get to your third breath, I want you to bring your hands like the full moon in front of your feet, like this, okay? And this time we're gonna roll up some energy. So we're gonna do like this. And as you do this, you're gonna roll it up. Roll it up your body, roll it up, roll it up, and then come up, come up, come up, and then release it. And take a deep breath. We're gonna make our way down, all the way down, laying down on your mat. And we're gonna do a four stretch. So just put your leg up on your other knee and put your your hand on whatever, yeah, and just push out. There you go. Yeah, we're just pushing out, just pushing out that hip, releasing that hip. Breathing. And when you get to your third breath, we're just going to switch to the other side. Just gently switch to the other side. And just push out your knee again. Be gentle. Then on your third breath, put both knees down. And I want to put your hands right next to you, and we're gonna do a little bit of a bridge, just real gentle bridge, so we're gonna come up off the mat like this, and then come back down. And I 
want you to do this in motion. So I want you to breathe every breath. So we're going to do, let's do four breaths with this motion. So we're going to go up, breathe in, and then release it. Time, just put your hands on your pelvis, your belly area, and just take some deep breaths. Feel your belly into your hands and then releasing it. Release it. And then once you get to your third breath or so, bring up one of your legs. I'm going to just do a light stretch, and if you want to, you can put your other leg out all the way, or you can keep it bent. It's totally up to you. And then as you've got your leg, yep, let's roll around our ankles, get some movement going. Once you get to your third breath or so, let's switch to the other leg and just put this one down. Do the same with the other leg. And then once you get to your third breath or so, I want you to keep this leg up. And then bring your other leg up too to meet it. This is called hips up. This is really good to do just in general. And just breathe into it. And once you get to your third breath, we're going to come into frog. job. And then just stay here for a moment, just breathing. This is great for our hips, great for those moms, those pregnant mamas. This is going to be a great stretch for you. <laughs> you got to get your hips stretched out, girl. <laughs> Either you do it or your baby's going to do it. <laughs> just breathe. Once you get to your third breath or so, let's go into happy baby. So we're just going to gra grasp onto our, our, our feet and then pull down to the ground. Yep, perfect. And if you want to, you can sway your feet like a happy baby. <laughs> Once you get to your third breath or so, come bring both knees in as much as you can and just give yourself a hug. And then put your legs out one at a time gently until you're into corpse pose where you're laying all the way down. And we're going to stay here for a moment and then we'll go into meditation. So we're just laying here, resting, breathing, accepting the full moon energy, releasing any chaotic energy, and only accepting gentle energy. And as we're laying here, I just want you to say the mantra to yourself I am powerful. I am powerful. I am powerful. I am powerful. I am so
can lay here as long as you need to. Just keep laying, breathing, your affirmation, I am powerful, I am so powerful. You just lay here as long as you feel the need to. And then once you're done, breathe in that energy, release the chaotic energy, only accepting gentle energy this week. And say your, la your last affirmation, I am powerful, and just make your way to sitting. And then we're going to begin our meditation. <laughs>